Welcome back, uh, welcome back to Mason Talks. Um, today is the Monday. Uh, yesterday was the season finale of the Brown season, of course. Not the Raven season, the Brown season. Um, the Browns lost to the Ravens 20-10 to in Baltimore, um, elevating the Ravens to the playoffs because the Chargers also lost. But yeah, so the Ravens are in the playoffs. Uh, this is like, this, I don't know. The uh, this uh, I don't know. Every AFC North team this one. Every AFC North team except for the Browns is uh, they're all in the playoffs uh, except for the Browns. That's what I was trying to get at. Every AFC North team, um, which is really sad because we're, that means we're not in the playoffs. Uh, Connor Shaw started yesterday. Uh, he joined the likes of Spurgeon, Win, Ty Detmer, Bruce Gradkowski. Bruce, I don't know, that guy, you know, Colt McCoy, Seneca, all of, some of the, those are some of the Browns, 22 starting quarterback since 99. We've had 22 since 1999. How many of the Patriots had, like, four? They've had Tom Brady, Drew Bledsoe, Ryan Mallett, maybe I think Ryan Mallett, and Matt Castle. So yeah, like four, <laughs> and we've had 22. Um, that's never good. <laughs> 22 is never good. Ever. Unless, unless you only have old court. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, Connor Shaw played yesterday. Uh, he was 14 for 28 for 177 yards, no touchdowns, one interception. Um, which I think is better than Johnny Manziel's done this season in one game. Uh, Terrence West took the majority of the carries and he, you know, did really good. Um, he had 18 carries for 94 yards, 94 yards and a touchdown. Uh, the, his long, his run, I don't know how many yards it was exactly, but it was a pretty long run, and he hurdled a few defenders, and I thought he was going to go all the way, but he didn't. <laughs> um, but eventually he scored a touchdown. So, yeah, that was pretty good. Garrett Hartley made a field goal that Billy kind of would have missed because it was on the right hash, and Billy's probably never made a field goal from the right hash mark ever, ever, because he, he's not good. Um... Our defense still did not play very well. Um, Justin Forsett, I think that's his name, the Ravens running back, had 119 yards, which is our weakness, is our run defense, which is why we need to get a new defensive tackle. We need to get some defensive tackles, outside linebackers, I think, and a right tackle. So those are the things we need. Uh, and then we'll probably be better. Um, Joe Flacco had 312 yards, two touchdowns, and that's it, I think. <laughs> he didn't have any interceptions. We didn't have, surprisingly, we didn't have any interceptions. But yeah, so they're going to the playoffs. And Josh Gordon did not play uh, because he missed team meetings along with Justin Gilbert and Johnny Manziel. Johnny Manziel was hurt, but um, he also, I don't know, he, he was at a party. They had a party. I think Josh Gordon and Justin Gilbert were both at the party with Johnny Manziel. And they both showed up late to team meetings, so they were suspended by the Browns, and they didn't get to play. Uh, I think Josh Gordon, uh, I think he needs to leave. I think we need to cut him or trade him. I don't think we're going to be able to trade him, though. I think we need to get rid of him because he's just kind of make. He's made our season worse. Since he's come back, we've been worse. <laughs> uh, since Josh Gordon, we had seven wins without Josh Gordon. When Josh Gordon comes back, we lose every game. <laughs> so I think we need to get rid of him. Uh, Taylor Gabriel had all of, had, was the leading receiver. He had 64 yards, followed by Jordan Cameron and Andrew Hawkins. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know what you do with Josh Gordon. I think you're going to have to cut him if you want to get rid of him. I don't think you'll be able to trade him. Oh, uh, but that's really sad because I have his jersey and that'll be like the third jersey I have of a no longer brown. I have four jerseys. Trent Richardson, Josh Cribbs, Barkevious Mingo, and Josh Gordon. So Barkevious Mingo will be the last remaining brown if we get rid of Josh Gordon. Uh, Jimmy Haslam came out. And said yesterday, we are not um, getting rid of Mike Pettin or Ray Farmer, so they're both coming back. But he said that he will not tolerate immaturity in the players. I think he was pretty much talking straight to Josh Gordon, not Josh Gordon, Justin Gilbert and Johnny Manziel. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. They're, they're not going to get rid of Johnny Manziel. He's probably going to end up starting next year. But uh, I think he'll be on a short leash. I hope we bring back Brian Hoyer. Because we're going to get a veteran quarterback. They've said that. And they pretty much have to. 
Uh, whether it's like Mark Sanchez, Michael Vick. I don't want Michael Vick. I think he's a free agent. Uh, but they might bring back uh, Brian Hoyer, which I think is the best option. Um, yeah, and I think they could draft a quarterback, but not in the first round or second round. Uh, I think you dra if you draft a quarterback, you need to draft him uh, in the m minimum third round. So yeah, we could get our own Russell Wilson, <laughs> uh, but no, we probably won't. So yeah, so for the off season, that's pretty much what we have to do. Uh, I'm still, uh, so this was my last post game video of this year for the Browns and maybe for the Cavs. I don't know if there's a Cavs game uh, before the year is over. So yeah, I was gonna make off season videos post, not post season, off season because we're not in the post season, like free agency and draft and stuff. But yeah, this is my last one this year. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. I don't know when it is.